Fandom Arcade. Ready? Start. Welcome back to Fandom Arcade. Boulders. Yep. What are they about? Uh, killing. <laughs> yep. Killing, killing, getting killed. Me getting killed by boulders. Okay, so I definitely can't jump over that thing. Yep. So, so let me see if I move that box. I'm thinking can about. Can I jump from that box to the next ledge? I think that's uh, literally what you. Uh, come on. There we go. Yeah, I, I think that's the only thing I can do. Because it's, the, the gravity is going to be in your favor. Yeah. Oh. Oh! oh. Just, it just like, oh my God. me on the noggin. You have a girder boner sticking out of your spine. Yeah. That's... No, I stand behind that. I think I got that right. I mean, you shouldn't stand behind it. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to stand behind anything. <laughs> Johnny1255. Wants me to get behind the boulder. Uh, I don't think gravity allows it. Uh, it doesn't allow it, and the uh, the trap door there will close. Yep. Oh, that uh, no, but you were on the right path. Hey. Boulder! <laughs> what can they do for you? Mm -hmm. All right, I got this. Yeah! Okay, the cerebral yeah. music is killing me. Is it? Yeah. Why? Do you not enjoy pleasant, soothing music? I know that you're all about pleasant, soothing music, but right now this is coming at a time that is unfitting. T terror. It's terror, the game. Here. Come right. on. There. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, okay. Oh, perfect. Oh, I like how that, like, that piece of the ground just kind of, like, latched together. That's nice. Uh-oh. Something's glowing. Yep, butterfly something, of death. Something bad's gonna happen. Butterfly of death. There that we go. That butterfly is going to kill me. That's how I die. Why did you go back? I don't know. It was such a like a gradual slope. No, no, no. Go. Hold on. Hold on. We and push. It's a gentle push. I'll never get those few seconds back. Nope. You won't. <gasps> that's. Uh, oh. And there's a nice little girl over there. I but think, I think that's supposed to be my. I think that might be my sister. But you got a kill worm in your face. Yep. Gotta go over this way. And. Oh, damn. I didn't time that right. Johnny1255 on our uh, Twitch says, uh, what was y'all first anime you seen? Oh, that's a fun story. Oh. The first, oh, uh, yeah, first hold on. Uh, Johnny1255, before we're answering this question, are we talking about, like, um, anime feature film that we actually, like, saw, got behind, or are we talking about first show? Uh, I think we can make up what it is. And I say, either. Dan. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going for constrictions. Okay, I will give you your constrictions. No, yeah. you won't. Johnny1255 will. This world is based on rules. That you just made up, which aren't rules. I was asking for specifications. <laughs> and I was about to give them to you. Get your... get... Oh, that's not what was previously here. There was a pleasant girl playing uh, with flowers. No, no, it turns oh, out it's... Johnny1255 says any. Perfect. It so, came from him, so I trust it. Okay. Oh, oh my god, you got split into tiny there, pieces. There wasn't enough of me to make that much of a mess. Oh, good answer, Sun Wukong. Vampire Hunter D on our Twitch feed. Um so for so, me Let's let's start. Let's yeah. do both, but let's start with animated uh anime film. Anime film. Yeah. Okay, anime film I would say Nope. Oh, I gotta jump up to the ladder. Anime film was, um, I'm having a hard time remembering the dates about, like, which one actually came first. Uh-huh. But it was either, uh, Akira or, um, Ninja Scroll. Oh, interesting. What about you? Uh, so the first anime film that I saw was actually the, not the Disney one, but the, oh, man, I don't have enough time here. Uh. So the first anime film that I saw was the first dub of My Neighbor Totoro. Oh. So before the primary one that was done by Disney, there was a very limited release, um, like I think direct to VHS. Yeah. Of, uh, can I, oh, hold on. Here we go, I'm gonna wait. Um, of My Neighbor Totoro. Yeah. 
and I remember very vaguely, and it, it's a weirdly interesting story. Oh, um, gotta wait for these guys so you can get your head worn removed. Come on. Oh, oh no. Box. Here we go. As we all know, getting tumors removed for your skull depends on boxes moving on conveyor belts. Mm -hmm. There, there we you go. go. All right. There we are. Okay, so, um, when I was very, very young, and my mom would take me to the video store, because we grew up in Mendocino, small town, there was no Blockbuster, it was just local video stores. Um, blockbuster, ask your parents. Right. Um, there was no Blockbuster, there was no Netflix, that all came later. Uh, and my mom would bring me to the video store, and I got to pick what movie I wanted to go see, or what, I, what we wanted to pick out. And I always picked My Neighbor Totoro. And I was young. I didn't understand what anime was. But I found out years later what My Neighbor Totoro was. Because uh, I think it was around high school, um, I started making some new friends. And this is actually what led up to me going to my first anime convention and actually started cosplaying, which is why it's such an, I think, an interesting story. Um, when I was in high school, I started to hang out with uh, some new, new friends who... Introduced me to got you hooked on the smack. Yeah, it got me hooked on the anime smack, and they were describing a film that sounded very familiar to me, but like I just I couldn't place it. And what they were describing was my neighbor Totoro, and then I was like, "Oh my god, that that's a movie!" I thought that was like a weird dream I had because I only vaguely remembered it watching it when I was so young. Um, oh, I think I figured out what to do here. Um, so. Oh, that's not gonna work. So, um, from that, they kind of, uh, that kind of had this snowball effect where I got more into anime, I went to my first anime convention, did my first cosplay, and ultimately kind of dictated who I became as a person. Weirdly. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I owe a, a, a debt of gratitude to Studio Ghibli and... Specifically, my neighbor Totoro. Very cool. Yeah. Then, what about uh, anime series? Well, what actually, I'm going to uh, catch uh, catch us up here on our uh, Twitch real quick because yeah. uh, Sun Wukong saying um, Sci-Fi Channel used to play anime movies four to five a.m. on Saturdays, and I remember that. Mm -hmm. I used to stay up and watch that uh, all the time. Uh, that was a big thing for me. I used to set the VCR in my bedroom to record, mm -hmm. and. Uh, what was so great about that is that, you know, it's like it would play something you'd never heard of, and then you watch it, and you either like it or you didn't. And yeah. um, that was when I saw one of my, uh, one that was actually a favorite of mine, which uh, was The Venus Wars. Um, not to be confused with the uh, hentai, which was called Venus something else. Um, but The Venus Wars <laughs> was um, a very kind of cool uh, movie about uh, political turmoil on the colony of Venus uh, mm -hmm. with uh, motorcycle racing and everything. And it actually was a fun story. Cool. Um, and then uh, Johnny1255 says uh, his first anime movie was Castle in the Sky. Mm -hmm. uh, first anime show was Digimon. Um, props Johnny1255. Never got into Digimon, but for some reason I actually, like... Digimon was just moving a little bit past my abilities. I was huge into Pokemon, and then after that, um, Digimon came along, and I was just starting to phase out, kind of. Okay. Um, but for some reason, and I think it kind of comes with, it's like, if you're part of the club, you're part of the club, because I have a strange amount of knowledge about Digimon. Yeah. For a show that I've really never seen or experienced very much of. Mm -hmm. You know um, that Digimon are digital monsters, and well, that Digimon, the, Digimon are... Digimon are the champions. Yes. So you know that much. I know that much. Okay. Good. Um, and as long as you know that much, then you'd, you'd be, be a good. fool. <laughs> um, but uh, first anime show. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. I think this needs to be here. I think I'm gonna need to drop down on it. Once I figure out this shenanigans. Shenaniganery. It's very shenan. shenan Shenaniganerous is yeah. what it is. Mm -hmm. That's uh, first anime show. Oh. Hmm. Mm hmm. Thinking. Okay. That's a tough one. I can I can hear the gears turning in your brain. No, that's on the screen. Oh. Sorry. My mistake. 
And hopefully this will last long enough for me to- Nope, it did not! It did not. I think I need to hold off a second when I flip that switch. There we go. And... Hmm. You know, actually... You can't, remember, you can't remember the first anime series you saw? Uh, not the first one I saw, but as far as remembering the ones that had the most impact on me, I can definitely say that Pokemon had a great impact on me. Um, Cowboy Bebop was probably one of the most influentials, but it was not, it was nowhere near the first anime show that I saw. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Cowboy Bebop had a huge influence on me. Um, and then, uh, trying to think. Dragon Ball Z. That's my answer is, I was a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. Oh, I remember. Loved Dragon Ball Z. All about Dragon Ball Z. Morning till night. I Push I, the I, lever when the ladder gets to the left side. The left side? Yeah. You are correct. That is 100% correct. Uh, no, I'm not correct. Johnny1255 on our Twitch is correct. Ah, well, good. Thank you, Johnny1255. Um, yeah, you know, Cowboy Bebop, uh, definitely a big one. And, um, oh, uh, also, um, I started thinking about, uh, movies. Mm hmm. Uh, Sun Wukong was saying Vampire Hunter D, but for me, one of the biggest ones was Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust. That is probably one of the most visually stunning animated films I've ever seen. Oh no! I got electrocuted. You were on the right track, though. There's one right there. It's the track the card is on. I'm the reason Dan drinks. Next time on Fandom Arcade. I'll still be the reason Dan drinks.